Hi guys, I just got this awesome little Bluetooth module here. Uh, I'm hoping to use this thing, I think it's called the HC6, to uh, connect to an Arduino and then hopefully I can use my phone somehow to control it. I've never done this before so not really sure what to do. So I did a quick little search on the Android Play Store here and I found this interesting little picture here that shows an Arduino Uno connected to a little Bluetooth module that looks very much like that one. Yes, it's got two chips on it and this one's got two chips. Great. So I installed this and I opened it up and the first thing I notice is it is scanning for a Bluetooth device. Now it's not actually connected to anything so I'll have to connect it up and give it some power. Just going to connect this straight up. And what have we got? We've got VCC white. We've got um, ground on black then we've got a TX and an RX doesn't matter on those now I think yeah it says 6 point sorry 3.6 to 6 volts so this should be fine straight off the Arduino connect that up to ground and 5 volts on there so this thing's actually powered up now, actually got something going on. So I wonder if I can just find that on my phone right now, let's have a look. So I seem to have found a device but it's not, is that visible? Oh, okay it's pairing with it. Just centering zero as it recommends can't pair with it so okay let's see if I unplug it whether that goes away oh, it definitely is the HCO6 so that's what we want Okay, so we're in. We're in with um, one, two, three, four as the passcode. So I don't know what I can do then. I've got switch mode, dimmer mode, terminal mode, controller mode. Let's see what happens if I click on here. Set the joystick buttons up with your own commands to send, not send. Oh, so you actually put text in here to send or something, um, like up, perhaps. And then on the Arduino you can capture the word up and do something with it. Let's go back and have a look at some of the other options. Oh, too far back. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to do anything at the moment, so what I'm going to have to do now is create some little program for the Arduino Uno to receive data from here and then do something when I type open or close. Right, challenge accepted. Okay, so the code is quite simple really. We've got two variables set up here in the initialization area. We've got our Bluetooth data and last data. Then in the void setup we've just got two things, serial begin and 9600. We're also going to be sending some data back to the terminal on the Bluetooth so we can see that, not on the Bluetooth, on the USB lead back to the computer so we can do some debugging. The next thing we do is print uh, pin mode 13 output, so we make pin 13 an output. Then in our void loop what we're going to do is start with an if statement. The first if statement is waiting for available data. If there is available data, we go in and actually read this data and save it into Bluetooth data. Then if that data in Bluetooth data is equal to zero, uh, not zero, small case O, what we then do is actually digital write the LED pin 13 on. Um, we also serial print out LED is on and then we update the last data. And likewise, 
if the data that we read is F, then we actually digital write pin 13 low to turn the LED off. Then we update the data again and we know we have a short 250 millisecond delay just so that we don't send multiple sends or something like that. Um, and actually, oh, I hope you got that on the bottom of the screen there. And that really is all there is to it to get it working. So that's four wires from that unit to the UNO. Um, the UNO doesn't need to be plugged into the computer, but it is at the moment. You find it in your list on the app. Connect, go into terminal mode. And then hopefully if I type the small case O in and press done. Nothing happens. And if I put the small case F in, nothing happens. And the reason why nothing happens is I've not connected up my RX and TX pins. That would really help, wouldn't it? There we go. It, it really does help if you connect those wires up. Straight away that LED is on. And if I press F and press done, the LED is off. Just do it again, O, on and on, and F. Yeah, that's really quite good. So you could actually have many, many if statements down that list and send various different letters and do all sorts of different things. Now I believe the other function in this app here is switch mode. And if we go into switch mode, go on control, we could put O, small O there, F there, and then go back to the switch. And it does exactly the same thing, but now we actually just go in and have a switch. And we could just use that Bluetooth module there for switching one thing on and off remotely. Really quite good. Now this now this free app that I've downloaded, which is Arduino, let's see who it's made by, and uh, Giuming Apps. It's got quite a good r rating on it. It's from Italy, so it looks like it's an official app, perhaps. People love it, so yeah, we'll stick with this for the moment. I would like to make my own apps and actually create some controllers for robots, but that looks quite a bit more advanced right now, so this is just something to get going with. Not really sure how dimmers work, there's only one dimmer here. And it doesn't seem to be dimming anything. So I'll have to look into that, perhaps there is a PWM number coming out somewhere you'd think you could have more dimmers that'd be useful for controlling servos but you can apparently only have one uh, in the controller mode you can also set various different motions or directions into say O and we go the other way as F and go back to the controller we can do the same thing with the controller, maybe control our robot with that. So really, really quite simple and easy to get going. Uh, should get that going in less than five minutes, really. Well, thanks for watching and good luck.